For years, it seems, those of us in agricultural education have used the term of integrating science into agriculture. Well, that's really not a very good term. Why? Because agriculture is a science. A project that our Ag STEM Education Research Lab here at the University of Florida has been working on is creating a, a curriculum framework for Ag STEM. Now, what does that mean to us? Well, it's part of a project uh, actually approved by the USDA Agricultural Experiment Station as we've worked with our colleagues across the, across the country in ag teacher education at other universities. So what we're interested in doing, and, and the work that we've done so far in creating this framework, really has three facets. We started with the Next Generation Science Standards. And the Next Generation Science Standards really talk about a framework that includes practices, cross-cutting concepts, and disciplinary core ideas. And those core ideas are what focus the curriculum, the instruction, and the assessments and that they are of broad importance. So we're not talking about particularly, particular objectives to be taught, but the broader issues, the disciplinary core ideas. So we started with that framework in mind. We then went to a carefully selected panel of experts across the country that included high school agriculture teachers, uh, state supervisors of ag education, and agriculture education teacher educators at, at, various, uh, at various sites across the nation. And we asked them to help us identify what are the disciplinary core ideas in each of the eight ag, food, and natural resource career pathways. So this way we were tying the next generation science standards with the, with the new AFNR career pathways because that seems to be what most of us are working on as we develop curriculum. Notwithstanding, of course, that we have to address state standards such as the Florida Sunshine standards here in our state. Well, as an example then, in the animal systems area, uh, we had 20 disciplinary core ideas that were identified by our panel. And they, uh, one of those as a performance indicator is apply principles of comparative anatomy and physiology to uses within various animal systems. Well, that goes along quite well then with the next generation science standard of develop and use a model to illustrate the hierarchical organization of systems and provide specific functions of multicellular organisms. So here what we're teaching in agricultural education, animal sciences, and what is in the next generation science standards have come together in a very reasonable way. What do we do with all this? Well, the first is to probably crosswalk this framework, this curriculum framework that we have with state standards and competencies so that as teachers we can show that, yes, we're teaching agriculture education, but we're also teaching science and we're preparing students for the science portion of high stakes testing in their states. We need to share this curriculum framework with administrators so that they have a better understanding of the science that is in agriculture because agriculture is a science. We need to present this to our local advisory committees for the same reason. We need to collaborate with science teachers because they're probably familiar with the next generation science standards, but not with ag ed, disciplinary core ideas. And we need to uh, present this to as many teachers as we can to help them ensure that indeed we are teaching agriculture, we are emphasizing the science in agriculture, and therefore we are helping prepare our students for the next generation in agricultural science.